Hello, this is Payroll Tips and my name is Peter Granston. Today I'll show you how to make a full payment submission. We're going to be using TimeSaver Cal for Tax and TimeSaver RTI which I've previously installed. If you'd like to see how to install the software, uh, please click the annotation on the screen now. I'll also put the link in the description below and the download link as well. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to make a pay slip using time saver account for tax so that we can submit that. I'm on on the 30 day trial period here, so I'm just going to click continue. Uh, it's going to go for a simple one, pay period one. Um, I'll do 3000. Uh, I can just put basic pay, we'll put that in anyway. And I'm going to store that. It's going to come up and say additional information, so I've got to put in the employee's name. And a reference number. Make sure you use a different reference number for each employee. Um, Now I'll do. Uh, cost center and the pay group is only for printing out on the pay slip. As we're not doing that, I'm not going to put it in. And the actual payment date, the date that they get paid. There we go. And I'm going to store that. Okay, so it's stored it as payslip one. So that's it now. We've got the payslip stored. You could go and print it at any time. It's with a print here. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to submit that to RTI. So I'll go to RTI up there and open RTI. It's open the RTI window now. Um, you can also get to the screen uh, through the icon on the desktop there. Okay, and. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is set up My Employee Details and Submissions. So click on that tab and fill out this information here. You'll get this information um, sent to you so you'll know what to put in there. I'm trying to remember mine. There we go. There we go. And for the rest of this information, I'm just going to um, just copy this across because this is just for a demonstration. There we go. Right, now we have that finished, we shall go on with our submission. You'll notice that um, on the payslip screen here, and uh, this is where all your, your payslips will be listed, you select the one you want and it will come up on the second tab along here and then if you click on that you'll see the employees submissions along the top here um, and we're going to go and do the full payment submission which is this one just here and you click on that and it'll load up okay and you'll notice that the some of these tabs have exclamation marks above them which means that there's required information that it, that it actually needs. Most of the information has been passed over through the payslip. You'll have to just fill in a few things. So an employee, you only have to fill them in once for each employee. It'll remember a lot of the information. So it wants, um, oh, it wants here, date of birth. and agenda okay and some address information 
as I said, this will be remembered. So every, the next time you uh, make a submission for this employee, it'll remember that you've already entered this and you won't have to do it again. You can uh, see that uh, postcode isn't isn't actually highlighted there, um, but you can put something in if you want. It really doesn't matter. All right, that's all done. You notice there's some other tabs there um, that you really don't need to bother about. Unless you're, unless they have a partner, and then you put the partner details in there. Um, you can see that <clears throat> there's a tree here, so you can see how far in you've gone, and then when you want to go back out, so we're in address at the moment, or we're in employee de employee details at the moment. So we'll come out, and we'll go back one more. There we are. So we're out, we're all the way back out, and we'll go into employment which is says it needs some details in there and it says it needs some details in payment there you go and it wants number of hours worked so just put something in there you have all the information at the side here telling you uh, what what to enter um, you also have a little, little extra information down there which takes you to the website um, for, for more information. Okay, so now you see that the submit buttons come up. Um, if you're making a BAX payment, you would uh, enter your BAX information in here and it would generate the BAX hash code which they use to trace um, to make sure the payment's gone through. If it ever comes to that. Okay, so let's submit and uh, there we go. Hit the submit button. You do a, you can do a test submit submission by entering a date and time here. If you say you want to send it, test if it would, what it would be like to send it in the future or the past. Um, but we're going to go straight to a, a live submission here. All right, it's talking to the gateway, the government gateway. You can see these bars going across here. It'll do that a couple of times, go across in twice. Oh. It basically came back with an error. No. Oh. Look at the date. That's wrong. Okay. So we've got a red failed one here. Yeah, our payment date's kind of wrong here, isn't it? Let's change that. Let's, well, let's correct it, shall we? I must have entered that incorrectly in and count for tax. There we go. Alright, we'll try submitting again. I submit to Live Gateway. looks more promising there we go that was successful it's now stored all of this information against the submission which you can recall any time and you can also save the submission file if you ever need to um, if there's ever any discrepancies they'll probably want to see that okay and now we have a green here let me go back to pay slip and my pay slips and it's got a it's got a green there indicating it was successfully sent um you can go back anytime you like and if you want to see that information that you submitted yeah you just review response there it is it's still there it's been stored okay well that's it um hope you enjoyed watching um Thank you very much.